creatures. The ocean current is extra strong today, so please be careful and find a safe place to go. Do you need some help getting to safety? No, I'm moving. Should be there by Thursday. Here, let me help you. Oh, I'm early. Thanks, Octonauts. Ahoy, friend! Did you hear the warning? Can't understand you, matey. Why are you talking like that? All I heard was yaddy daddy baddy bay. Can you speak a bit slower, please? I said I'm Jimmy the Jarfish, and I'm going home to my burrow, which is right there, and my mouth is full of eggs! Oh, I dropped my eggs! That's Jerry. And Jojo. Oh, and little Janie. Look, just like a mother, go. Here, get this one. Last one. The current! Oh, 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 no, no, no. The current swept his eggs away. Don't worry, we'll find your eggs. Every last one of them. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, the current has carried away ten of the jawfish's eggs. Our mission is to find them and return them to their father's mouth. Mouth? Why would anybody keep eggs in their mouth? Jawfish dads are mouth brooders, Tweak, which means that they protect their eggs by keeping them in their mouths until they hatch. See? The ocean can be a very dangerous place for a tiny egg. There are a lot of fish who might like to eat them. Then we'll have to find the eggs right away. Dashi, can you track the path of the current? Activating current tracker. The current has traveled along these cliffs, over these geysers, and through this rocky trench. Then that's where we'll find the eggs. Here's the plan. Shellington, you stay with the jawfish at his burrow. Yes, Captain. Dashi, you stay here and keep track of the current. Quasi, Peso and I will split up and search for the eggs. Hey, I can I can yes, Tunip, you can help look for the eggs too. Tweak, those eggs are small and delicate. We'll need... Something to collect them in? I've got just the thing, Cap. Egg vacs! These will suck the eggs right up and keep them safe until you get them back to the jawfish. I also changed your air tanks into special booster packs. Just press this button and you'll get a boost of speed to help you swim against the current. Good work. Tweak, open the octo hatch. <laughs> Peso, you search along the cliffs. Got it. And Quasi, you search by the geezers. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll search the rocky trench. Octonauts, let's do this. Hmm. These are the cliffs. And that is an egg. There you are, nice and safe. Oh, a cute egg. Kind of looks like that one. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Well, that was easy. Any others around? There's one. That manta ray is eating everything in sight. Activating booster pack. Easy peso. Flippers down. Lead with the beak. Got it! Sorry, Manta Ray. You'll have to snack on something else. Well, that's not very nice, is it? Let's get you back to your dad. <laughs> you found an egg, Tunip. Let's see. <laughs> oh, Tunip, that's a pebble. <laughs> Keep trying. <laughs> Here you go. Three eggs, safe and sound. I think he said that's Joseph, Josephine, and Judith. <laughs> Captain, three eggs have been returned safely to the jawfish's mouth. Well done. Thanks, Shellington. One, two, three, seven more to go. Captain, I've reached the geezers. Whoa! Hello, mateys. 
Captain, I've rescued two eggs. Good work, Quasi. And I'm about to snag a third. Say, ah. Uh... Uh... Tunip, did you find one this time? Oh, no, that's a seashell. Uh... Captain, we found three more eggs. And I found two. That's eight altogether. I'll keep searching for the other two, but the current has loosened up the rocks. Whoa. So it might get tricky. Hey. Oh, close. Whoa. Nearly. Whoa. Bingo. Time to take you home. Three more eggs, safe and sound. Oh, uh -huh. Nine down, still one to go. Uh, it's Jimmy Junior, named after his father. A brave little egg with a sense of adventure. He's out there somewhere. Dashy, come in. Yes, Captain. We've searched the cliffs, the geysers, and the trench, but there's still one egg missing. His name is Jimmy Junior. The last egg could still be caught up in the current, which has moved past the rocky trench and is heading into open water. Thanks, Dashy. Quasi, Peso, if we don't find that egg soon, it could be lost for good. Let's move. Jimmy Junior, up ahead. Activate egg vax. Too strong for the egg vax. We'll have to do this the old fashioned way. Hold this. <laughs> Whoa, slippery. Get it. I got it. Now I've got you. Yeah. Lemon sharks. I can handle this one, Captain. <laughs> Careful, Quasi. You can't let them notice you. Swim under the sharks as quietly as possible. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey, that looks like a nice snack, man. Hey, sir, take Jimmy Jr. <laughs> Snack time, man. Yeah, enjoy. Quasi, what do you do? Don't worry, Jimmy Junior is safe and sound. Phew. Hey, it's empty. Let's get them. See you later, Shockies. We proudly return with the one and only. Jimmy Junior! Oh no! Oh, we'll be no. Oh, I had him in my paw. He, he must have slipped out somewhere. I, I... That's seaweed. That's a clam. That's an egg. That's an egg. Junip, you found Jimmy Junior. Who's Ah, we found all ten. Great job, Octo. Shellington, what did he say? He said, my eggs are hatching. Hooray! Oh, wow, look! Yeah. You're a little daredevil, aren't you? That's Jimmy Jr. A chip off the old block. Wow, oh, look at my baby. I love every single one of you. Oh, we're going to need a bigger home. Uh, what is he doing? I think he said he's digging out his burrow with his mouth. That's exactly what I said.
Say ah, oh, please. Ah. 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 You're both perfectly healthy. Captain, these sea cucumbers can go back to their rocks now. Okay, let's go. Thanks. Huh? Come on. I could use a checkup. Of course. What's your name? <laughs> My name's Dorian. Careful now. I'm an old jelly. I'll be very careful. Oh, oh, oh. I could use a little uh, snacky snack. Oh, <gasps> oh no! Ah! Oh, this is too scary for an old jelly like me. <laughs> huh? Now, where's that jelly go? Uh... Dorian, is that you? <laughs> what happened to your tentacles? Are you all right? Do you need help? <laughs> Captain, Quasi, follow that baby jellyfish. Uh, why are we chasing after a little baby jellyfish? A couple of minutes ago, he was a grown-up jelly, but then he turned into a baby. But grown-ups don't turn into babies. But I saw it with my own eyes. I know who might be able to explain it. Shellington? Shellington here, Captain. Shellington, take a look at this. That's a baby jellyfish, Captain. Yes, but a few minutes ago, he was a grown-up jellyfish. He was frightened by a sea turtle, and then something very strange happened. The grown-up jellyfish changed into a baby jellyfish. Yes. Jumping immortal jellyfish. Don't lose sight of that baby jelly. Right, I'll need my nightcap. I mean my notecap. Ah, I mean my notebook. Huh? Oh, uh, 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 tune it. Sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the Jelly Bay! The Jelly Bay? Uh... about Jelly Bay, not a lunchable. Oh, oh, thanks, Tunip. Uh, one more time. Octonauts, to the Launch Bay! <laughs> Shellington, what's going on? Captain, this is so exciting. You found an immortal jellyfish. I, you, you still have him, don't you? <laughs> right here, safe and sound. What's so exciting about it, matey? An immortal jellyfish can do something no other creature can do. Turn back into a baby and start its life all over again. So that means an immortal jelly can live forever? Yes, unless something eats it. Don't worry, I've got it. Captain, the immortal jelly is the only creature in the world who makes this amazing change. I've never had the chance to see one for myself. Until now, we'll keep this baby immortal jelly safe until you can get here. Thank you, Captain. Octonauts, let's do this. Oh. Uh, oh. <coughs> uh, wait, uh, where's my notebook uh, and my magnifying glass? Oh, oh, thanks, Tunit. No, no, I'll drive. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Be careful, Shellington. Oh, don't worry. Right. Uh, oh, 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 that's better. Captain, I'm on my way. I'll be there as fast as I can. All right, Shellington, but don't worry. We'll take good care of this baby jelly. Now all we have to do is to wait for Shellington. Do, 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 do. Shellington, Shellington. Oh, where are all those bubbles coming from? <gasps> oh, 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 yeah! oh, oh. oh, no! Where's Dorian? There, mateys! We've got to catch that jelly before the whale swallows it. No, it's heading for the whale's mouth. <laughs> Time for some tickling. Tickling? We'll tickle the whale to keep his mouth open long enough to grab the baby jelly. Quasi, you take the tail, 
I'll take the belly, and Peso... I'll take the jelly. Let's go. Activate Tickle. <laughs> yeah, got you. <laughs> hey, hey. Whoa, you guys. <laughs> now that was a good laugh. Phew. Shellington to Captain Barnacles. Come in, Shellington. How's the baby immortal jelly? Oh, he's doing just fine. Except that he almost got swallowed by a whale. <gasps> swallowed by a whale? <laughs> Don't worry. The baby jelly is safe and sound. It might be a good idea uh, to set him down somewhere on a nice, secure... <laughs> rock! <laughs> Yes, a growing jelly goes through big changes. First, the baby attaches to a rock. Next, it turns into a polyp. And then the polyp turns into the grown-up jelly. Understood. We'll find a rock then. And I'll see you soon, Captain. Shellington, out. Out, out of the way! <laughs> <laughs> I'll just get us going again. Uh... <laughs> the gap's not working. We need another way to travel. Swimming will take too long. Oyster, oyster. Booster packs. Good thinking, Tunip. Activate booster packs. <laughs> Whoa. This looks like a good spot for the baby jelly. Here you go. No. <laughs> I think he likes it, matey. <laughs> wow. Yeah, man. No, that's more like it. Dorian, is that you? Of course it's me, man. I've just been going through some changes, that's all. I've gone from a baby to a polyp. And it won't be long until I'm all grown up again. I hope Shellington gets here in time to see it happen. Uh, not far. No. Let's boost uh, our speed. Ah! Oh! Oh! I broke the booster packs. I'm sorry, Tunip. Shalado! Tunip? I found a roller! The bar! Oh, good thinking, Tunip! To the coral reef, please! Next stop, the coral reef! And you better hold on tight! Whoa! <gasps> what is it, Dorian? I'm feeling a little funny. You don't have a fever. Does anything hurt? Are you hungry? Or oh, sleepy? No, man. It's, it's like I need to sneeze or a hiccup. Oh, make a change. Oh, this is it. <laughs> Shiver me whiskers. <laughs> Look at me. I'm all grown up. And Shellington missed it, Captain. Oh, no. That sailfish is coming right for me. <laughs> oh, amazing. I got to see him turn into a baby jelly right before my eyes. You got here just in time, Shellington. Chuba, chuba. Well... We hit a teeny bump here and there, but mostly it was smooth sailing. Right, Tunip? <laughs> Get 
Captain, the kelp forest is right up ahead. Thanks, Dashie. Now, let's hurry. Shellington has someone special he wants us to meet. Ah, oh, can't you just tell us who it is? No, it's a surprise. Ooh, is it someone you've known for a long time? Actually, I've never met him before. Is it some kind of slimy kelp monster? No. Hmm, is it... A bunch of kelp heading straight for us! Yeah, the water's full of kelp. And it's all coming from the kelp forest. Something's not right. We'd better take a look. Kelp strands are connected to the seafloor by these special roots. If these roots come loose, the kelp will float away. If too much kelp floats away, there'll be no more kelp forest. And all these creatures will have nowhere to live. But what's causing all the kelp to come loose in the first place? A vast! Look, mateys! I was afraid of this. Red urchins. Red urchins destroy kelp roots. They can wipe out an entire kelp forest. Unless there are sea otters. <laughs> Around to eat them. Pearl! <laughs> Hello, Shellington. Everybody, this is my sister Pearl, the sea otter. Oh, hiya. Hi there, Hello. Matey. Pearl is a scientist, just like me. She knows practically everything about kelp forests and kelp plants. Actually, kelp isn't a plant at all. It's a type of algae. See? So this is who you wanted us to meet. Uh, not exactly, but I'm sure Pearl can tell us what's wrong with the kelp forest. Ah, uh, yes. I'm afraid I've fallen a bit behind on my urchin duties. Urchin duties? Yes, we sea otters are what's known as a keystone species. The whole kelp forest depends on us to eat the red urchins so they don't destroy it. It's our duty as sea otters. But I've never seen you eat an urchin. Uh, well, actually, as it turns out, I'm allergic to urchins. Shellington helps the kelp forest in a different way, as an octonaut. Oh, usually, I can keep the urchins under control all by myself. But lately, I've been kind of busy with... Well, let me show you. He's right over here. I wrapped him up in kelp so he wouldn't drift away. Everybody, this is Periwinkle. <laughs> this is who I wanted you all to meet. My new nephew. Oh, oh, look at look him. how fuzzy he is. Perry's still just a baby, so I spend most of my time feeding him, cleaning him, and teaching him how to find food. Once Perry's a little older, he'll be able to dive down to eat red urchins too. As a matter of fact, it's just about time for Perry's first diving lesson. Oh, but I still have to catch up on my urchin duties. Pearl, why don't you and Shellington give Perry his diving lesson and let us clear the urchins out of the kelp forest? Oh, that would be wonderful. Octonauts, let's do this. We eat red urchins like this. Now you try. Oh, no, sweetie, that's a rock. Barnacles to Shellington. How's the diving lesson going? Well, Perry's found three red rocks, two red shells, one grumpy red crab, <coughs> but no red urchins. How about you? It took a while, but we managed to clear the red urchins out of the kelp forest. Oh, well, that should keep them under control, at least until it gets dark. Captain, red urchins are most active at night. They might try to come back when the sun goes down. In that case, we'd better stay the night. We'll take turns looking out for urchins. Now, you're sure you'll be okay up there, Shellington? Of course, Captain. Nothing like sleeping out under the stars, sea otter style. Ah, 
We're holding hands and holding on to kelp so we don't <sighs> float away. <sighs> Still no sign of any urchins. Uh, hello? Hey, can't the guy have dinner in peace? Oh, excuse me. I thought you were... Ah, urchins! Oh, no. That's the strand of kelp Shellington's holding on to. Shellington, come in, Shellington. Your kelp strand is loose. Oh, um, I just want to sleep. Just a few minutes more, Mum. <laughs> Flappity flippers! Captain, come in, Captain! The urchins are coming! The urchins are coming! Lots of them! Uh, quasi! Yeah. What? Sound the octo alert! Octonauts to the GUP A! The urchins are heading for the kelp forest, and we've got to stop them. Everyone, let's... Uh, hang on, where's Shellington? Captain, the urchins, they destroyed the roots of the kelp he was holding on to. Captain, look! Shellington, Pearl and Perry are drifting out to sea. Dashy, Quasi, you take the Gup A to rescue Shellington. Tunip, Tweak, we'll help Peso with the urchins. There's no time to lose. Everyone. In two positions. Quasi, Dashy, any sign of Shellington and Pearl? We're approaching them now, Captain. Hurry, Dashy. We need all the help we can get. Avast! There they are, matey. <laughs> If we get too close, we'll crash into them. Quasi, maybe you can... Reel them in. Already on it. Almost. Yeah. Almost. Jellyfish! Shellington! The cow! Grab the cow! <laughs> Hold on tight, mateys! We gotta get back to the kelp forest! It's no use, Cap! The urchins are already getting through! This looks like a job for a keystone species. Shellington! The urchins will keep coming back to the kelp forest unless we move them somewhere with plenty of food. <gasps> that rocky reef! There's plenty of algae for them to eat there. But what about the urchins that are already in the kelp forest? Pearl, I hope you're hungry. Reporting for urchin duty. <laughs> All right, Octonauts, start moving urchins to the rocky reef. It's working! The urchins like it here. Keep it up, Octonauts. Thanks, Tweak. Good work, everyone. The red urchins are gone and the kelp forest is safe. Oh, thanks, Octonauts. I don't know what I would have done without all your help. Oops, missed one. <laughs> Perry, you did it! Your first red urchin! From now on, it looks like you'll have some help with your urchin duties. <laughs> What's our position, Dashy? Just approaching the eastern coast of Australia, Captain. 
Australia? I've heard a tale or two about the strange beasties that live there, me hearties. Actually, Quaz is right. Many of the creatures in Australia are found nowhere else in the world. <laughs> Hold on, everyone. <laughs> Oh, is everyone okay? I'm fine. Oh, okay, uh, Captain. Yes, I think so. Hi, hi, Captain. Just practicing my tumbles. Dashy, what just happened? Well, we were passing this river, Captain. There's been a lot of rain in this area, and all the extra water caused the river to flood. It's gushing out here into the ocean much faster than usual. And it's sweeping the river creatures oh. out with it. Oh. 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 Looks like they need our help. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, the river here has flooded. We've got to head upstream and help any creatures who may be in trouble. Quasi, Peso, Shellington, into the cafe. First, we have to rescue the river creatures that have been swept out to sea. Quasi, activate fish vac. <laughs> now let's take them back home. This river's flowing fast. Looks like the flooding caused a lot of damage. There must be more creatures out there who need our help. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> well done, Octonauts. Everything looks back to normal. Let's head home before it gets too dark. I'll be right there, Captain. It looks like part of the riverbank has collapsed. I just want to make sure no creatures were hurt. All right, Shellington. Captain, Quasi's found something. Feast your eyes on this. Mmm, an egg. It was just sitting there, all alone on the riverbed, Captain. We'd better get it back to where it belongs. But where's that? Ah, the shell is hard and thick. This egg was laid on land. We should show it to, um... Shellington! Ah! Shellington, where are you? Over here, Captain! Ow! Oh, it stung my leg. What? What stung your leg? One of them! There they are. Don't let them get away. Ah! We're under attack! Quick, everyone back to the car. No! Oh. Yeah! out there, Shellington. Two creatures came out of nowhere, and one of them stung me in the leg. Oh, what were those things? They had bills and claws and... <gasps> Hold on. I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. It's a pair of duck-faced river monsters. A pair of duck-faced what? Now, Quasi... It is a strange, slippery beast that's said to lurk in Australian rivers just like this one. It's made up of parts from different creatures. A bill like a duck, fur like a bear, webbed paws like an otter, claws like a cat, a tail like a beaver, and worst of all, a sharp, spiny stinger like a giant bumblebee. This here sting is the work of the duck-faced river monster. So, Whatever it was that stung you, it was serious. Room. How are you feeling, mm. Shellington? Uh, not too good, mm. Captain. Don't no no worry, Shellington. I'm sure I can Come make on. you better. I just need my medical bag. Captain, I must have dropped it. It's out there. With the duck-faced river monsters. Peso, <laughs> you stay in the gap and look after Shellington as best you can. Quasi, you and I are going out there to find Peso's medical bag. Oh, I almost forgot. 
We'll find out who this egg belongs to and return it just as soon as we take care of Shellington. Good luck out there. And hurry. Oh. Oh. No sign of the creatures yet. No sign of Peso's medical bag either. It could be anywhere in this murky muck. Oh. Looks like we've got company. Quasi. You keep them distracted while I search the riverbed. Ready? Ready, Captain. Then let's do this. Hey, you duck-faced furball! Over here! I'm not scared of you, whatever you are! Ah, sure. It's around here, but somewhere. I did it, Captain! Whoa! Whoa! I led those monsters on a wild goose chase! They'll never find us now! Hmm. This time, Quasi, you look for the bag, and I'll lead the creatures away. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey! Up here! That's it! <laughs> here I am! What's taking the captain and Quasi so long? Don't worry, Shellington. They'll be back soon. I hope. Ah! Lappity flippers! The egg's hatching! Whoa! <laughs> Shiver me whiskers! Peso's back! <laughs> Look out, Quasi! Quasi, this way! Shellington, look! Oh, fascinating. A bill. A furry tail. A webbed claw. It's a duck-faced river monster. And it's really cute. Oh, jumping jellyfish. That's no monster. It's a baby platypus. A platypus? Uh, platypuses are river creatures that lay eggs. They only live here in Australia. Then those creatures outside must be platypuses too. That's right. And platypus fathers have stingers on their back legs. No wonder he stung me. They want their baby back. I'd better get it back to them before anyone else gets hurt. Careful on that leg, Shellington. I'll be right back. Ah, how do they keep finding us in the dark? We're trapped. Huh? <laughs> We've got you right where we want. Now hand it over. Um, excuse me? And what over? Not going to cooperate, huh? All right, then. Get ready to feel the sting. Stop! Look. Our baby! He's got your bill. <laughs> and your tail. A baby duck-faced monster? It's not a duck-faced monster. It's a duck-billed platypus. It hatched from that egg you found. Our egg must have rolled into the river during the flood. We were looking everywhere for it. We're very sorry, platypuses. We didn't know the egg was yours. We were going to try and find out where it came from, but then our friend Shellington, well... All right, yeah. Sorry for the sting. I, I was just protecting my family and I got a little bit, uh, stingy. I completely understand, but I've got to find my medical bag so I can help Shellington. Aye, it's somewhere down in the muck. Perhaps I can make up for what I did to your mate and find that for you. I'll be right back. But how will he be able to find my bag in the dark? We platypuses don't mind the dark, because we swim with our eyes closed anyway. We find our way around underwater using our special bill. It tells us where things are. Aha! My medical bag. Thank you so much. Oh, thanks, Peso. It's feeling better already. Don't worry, the pain from my stinger should wear off soon. Sorry again, mates. And thanks for keeping our little ones safe. Oh, not to worry. It's not every day I get to meet a family of furry, web-footed, stinging, egg-laying, beaver-tailed, duck-billed platypi. Oh, ah, you're standing on my foot. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Captain Barnacles, come in. Oh, Dashie, what is it?
is it? Something's not right. I'm getting a strange weather warning. Uh, meet me in HQ. Aye, aye, Captain. It's the biggest whirlpool I've ever seen, and it's heading straight for us. We'll be sucked right in. Dashi, prepare to move the octopod to calmer waters. Attention, octonauts. There is a giant whirlpool what? heading for the octopod. Please, put away any items that could fall or be broken. Activate launch now. that tunip? You found some strange objects in the garden pod? Well, let's go! Jumping jellyfish. They're eggs. But who or what laid them here? <laughs> What's tickling me toes? A vast Eto tickler! Come out wherever you are! <laughs> Eggs in the garden pod. I saw it in the library. I almost captured it. It was a snake. <gasps> a snake on the octopod. Are you sure, Peso? Yes, it was in my medical bag. It must have been a sea snake. Many kinds of snakes live underwater. Was it one of these, Peso? No, no. That's the one. A sea crate. They're the only sea snakes who lay their eggs on land and not in the ocean. Those must have been sea crate eggs that we found in the garden pod. But how did one get on board? I'll check the security cameras. There. Aha. So she snuck in in the middle of the night. And now she's trying to get out. Once sea crates lay their eggs on land, they immediately return to the water. She can't swim out now. She'll get sucked right into that whirlpool. Octonauts, find the sea crate and keep her on board until it's safe. Um, there's just one other little thing, Captain. Sea crates are poisonous. <gasps> poisonous? Yes, but she'll only bite if she's scared. We'll have to be very, very gentle with her. These handy snake grabbers ought to do the trick. Octonauts, let's find that snake. <laughs> That whirlpool is stronger than we thought. Dashy, activate steering wheel. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Sounds like a snake. Aha! Gotcha! Oh. Prepare to be rescued, Sea Crate! Yeah! Stop right there! I am so getting off this ship. Follow oh, that snake! This must lead to the sea. Oh, no, you don't! <laughs> Let me see if I can help. I need to get into the sea. Why are you trying to stop me? We're just trying to help. 
There's a dangerous whirlpool out there. If you go out now, you'll get sucked right in. Seriously? We're so serious. So, can we bring you back to your eggs until the whirlpool passes? That's not how it usually works, Penguin, but sure. They hatched! That's great, but um, where are the babies? When baby sea crates hatch, the first thing they do is look for... Water! Water, 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 water. Captain, Dashi, come in! The eggs have hatched. Is it safe for the snakes to leave the octopod? It's not safe at all. They'll get sucked right into the whirlpool. Find those baby snakes and keep them on the octopod. Repeat, keep those snakes on the octopod. Five baby sea snakes. How many should there be altogether? Six. Yeah, one of them's missing. Huh? Oh no! Dashi, what's going on down there? One of the snakes reversed the ship. I'll try to change direction. It's no use. We're getting sucked in. We'll have to drive our way out of it. My baby girl! Snake overboard! Captain, stop! We've got to save her! Come on, Peso! Won't the whirlpool swallow us up if we go out there? Yes. Unless... Tweak, do you have any suction cups? Coming right up! Baby snake, here we come! The baby sea snake has large scales on its belly. Kind of like suction cups. That's what allows it to climb. And now, with the suction suits I made, Quasi and Peso have belly scales too. There she is. Captain, the ship can't take much more of this. Quasi, Peso, you have to hurry. We have to get out of this whirlpool. Aye, Captain. We've almost got her. Yeah, little snakey, snakey, snake. Oh, no. Brave move, matey. I, I can't believe I just did that. Great work. Now hurry back inside. They're inside, Captain. Now's our chance. We've got to blast out. OK, Dashie, I'll pull the brakes. Then you'll activate the turbo blasters. Ready? Brakes! <laughs> now, blasters! Blasters, go! No whirlpools in sight. Good work, Octonauts. And look who's here. Mama! My baby girl. Looks like it's safe for you snakes to head out to sea. <sighs> Come along, children. Yay, water! Thanks for all your help. I knew this would be a nice, safe place to lay my eggs. See you later. Bye, bye Bye! Well, Octonauts, it's been a busy night. Why don't we all get some sleep? Eh? Oh, no thanks, Turnip. It's almost lunchtime. 
surprise, the captain. Octonauts, we've just spotted a beautiful beach. Now, we've all been working hard, so how about we take the afternoon off and have a picnic? All right. Sounds great. Delightful. We'll find a good spot, mateys. And then you can join us on the beach. Octonauts, prepare for a picnic. Captain, I think Tunip just said that the Vegemals will make your favourite dessert, vanilla kelp pudding. Thanks, Tunip. Be sure to make plenty for everyone, because you can never have too much pudding. Barnacles out. <sighs> Fresh air, sunshine and sand. Ah, can't wait to kick off me boots and dig me paws in the sand. It's so quiet and peaceful and... Ah, ah, ah. Are you hurt? Ah. Don't be afraid, little crab. What's wrong? It's my leg. It really hurts. I'm Peso. I'm a medic. I help any creature who is hurt or sick, no matter what. Let me take a look. Uh, right here. Hmm. You need a bandage. Yeah. Good as new. Oh, thanks. That's much better. How did you hurt your leg? I fell off a rock when I was running away from the blob. <gasps> What's the blob? It's a thing that grows bigger and bigger and bigger. How big does it get? So big that it pushed me right off the rock where I live. If you don't get out of the way, it stings you. I got away, but my crab friends are still there, trapped in a hole in the rock. I have to go back and save them from the blob. You won't have to do it alone. We'll help you. Aye, matey. We're not afraid of the blob. Oh, wow. First you fixed my leg, and, and now you're going to help me and my friends. Who, who are you guys? We are the Octonauts. Barnacles to Dashy. Dashy here, Captain. I'm afraid it's not picnic time just yet. We need to take care of an emergency on the beach first. Aye, aye, Captain. We'll be at HQ if you need us. Don't worry, Tunip. You can still make pudding. We're almost to the rock where my friends are trapped. <gasps> there it is. The blob. That's the blob, me hearty. It's a puny little thing. Yeah, but one blob can become two blobs. And two blobs can become four blobs. <laughs> How it gets so big. Look! Flappity flippers. That's where my friends are trapped. Barnacles to Shellington. Shellington here, Captain. Have you ever heard of creatures that can split in two and make copies of themselves? Why, yes, Captain. Those are aggregate anemones. Aggravating enemies? No, no, no. Aggregate anemones. They can make lots and lots of copies of themselves. And when two groups of these anemones meet, they fight over space. They have special stingers for attacking each other. No! 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 Uh-oh! Uh it's hit the Octo Alert! Octonauts, are you all right? 
Captain, we were just attacked by... Oh no, the radio's broken. Mm. Vanilla kelp pudding. Mm. Delicious. We've lost contact with the octopod. Ah, I bet these anemones are trying to take over the octopod just like they took over this rock. Hmm. Dashi said they were under attack. We need to get back there right away. Uh, don't leave me here alone. We won't. Peso, stay here with our crab friend, but don't move. Quasi and I will be back as soon as we can. Yes, Captain. Quasi, let's go. Into the gum. Don't worry. We'll help your friends just as soon as the captain gets back. <laughs> oh, no. They're making more copies of themselves. <gasps> oh, my. There's a different group of anemones on the other side of the rock. Ooh. They're getting closer. Ah, I don't see anyone in HQ. Just a whole lot of blobs. All right, we're going in. Yeah, it's quiet. Too quiet. I don't like all this quiet. Then... Why are we whispering? Hmm. Oh. Shiver me whisk! Sh sorry, Captain. What? We're having a bit of a, a pudding problem. Pudding? pudding. Mm -hmm. Well, at least it's a tasty problem. Hi, Captain. But we need to get back to the beach to help Peso. Don't worry, Cap. We'll get this pudding problem fixed up faster than you can say bunch of munchy, crunchy carrots. All right, Tweak. Quasi, into the gob again. Peso, we're on our way. Hold your position. I don't think I have much of a choice, Captain. Ow! They're stinging each other. Ow! 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 That really hurt. Oh yeah, I stung you because you stung me. You stung me first. No, you stung me first. Ow! 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 Got you last. Ow! Good. Got you last. Ow! 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 My friends, they'll get stung. Ow! 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 Stop! Anemones, please. Stop stinging each other. This rock belongs to us, and they've got to go. We've got to go. They've got to go. So you're fighting for a home? We get to stay here because we were here first. We were here first. Actually, this little crab and his friends were here first. Excuse, Excuse me. me. Just coming through Thank you very much. Which means both of you are on their rock. Oh. Oh. Well, we have to live somewhere. What about us? We have to live somewhere, too. Let's work out a way for everyone to share this rock. Why don't you, anemones, move back and stay on this side of the rock, and you, anemones, stay on this side, and both of you keep the middle free for the crabs. And please, no more stinging. We'll, we'll do, do it if they do it. it. We'll, we'll do, do it. it. High five! <laughs> Ouch! Yeah. Now let me see if I have something to make your stings feel better. Yeah, they really hurt. I bet mine hurt more. No, mine do. I've got a Peso. Yeah, I've got a Are you okay? Everything's fine, Captain. Peso stopped the Battle of the Blobs. Good work, Peso. But what about the other blobs back at the Octopod, Captain? Oh, don't worry, Peso. Aye, they're not the stinging kind. Now this is a blob of pudding. <laughs> Octonauts, activate spoons. There's plenty for everyone. Dig in. Come on, yeah. dig in. <laughs> Nothing tastes better than a carrot fresh out of the garden, Tunip. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get this one.
one for you, me hearty. <laughs> These vines are perfect for swinging. You should try it, Tweet. No thanks, Quasi. I'm happy just pulling up carrots. Ah, <sighs> that's not very exciting. There's got to be some action around here somewhere. <laughs> I think I'm going to take the gut bee out for a spin because, uh, because I need to, um... Let me guess. Practice your driving skills. Aye, oh, that's it. Practice my driving skills. <laughs> yeah! Those dolphins are fast, even the babies. But I reckon I can catch up with them. Wow! Woohoo! So long, dolphins! Always nice to take the gut bee out for a little excitement. <laughs> Looks like you brought back a friend. A friend? <gasps> a baby dolphin? Huh, he must have followed you inside, Quasi. Oh, he's just a baby. Poor little matey. He needs his mother. And we're going to find her. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to get this baby dolphin back to his mother. I wonder how he lost his mummy. I was driving the gut bee near some dolphins. He must have started following me instead of his mother for some reason. He must have got caught in your slipstream, Quasi. What's a slipstream? Dolphin mothers swim so fast that they make a path in the water behind them called a slipstream. The slipstream pulls the dolphin baby along and helps it keep up with its mother. But this baby dolphin must have got carried away in the guppy slipstream. Yeah, I'm sorry, little matey. It must have happened when I drove between you and your mum. I wonder why he keeps whistling like that. Every dolphin makes a different sound that other dolphins know. Dolphin mothers know their babies by their special sounds. So, we can use this baby dolphin's sounds to help us find his mother. Tweak. We'll need the microphone and recorder. Got it, Cap. First, we'll record his sounds and then we'll play it while we search. And his mummy will recognize the special sound. Ready, set, whistle! Come here, little matey. Don't be afraid. He likes you, Quasi. Why don't you try? Um, give us a nice whistle now. Perfect. We've got our recording for the search. Shellington, Dashy, into the Gup E. Peso, into the Gup A with me. We'll spread out and search for the dolphin's mother. And Quasi, you stay here and babysit. I can. Oh, what? Did you say stay here and babysit? Well, you're the best one for the job, Quasi. Me? A babysitter? Yes. The baby dolphin really seems to like you. Keep a close eye on him. But, Captain, I... Quasi, open the octo hatch. Let's split up so we can cover more ground. Aye, aye, Captain. Uh, don't worry, little matey. They'll find your mother. All we have to do is wait. <sighs> Waiting's not very exciting, is it? <gasps> Come on, matey. We're going outside to play. Ah, oh, this looks like a good place. Well, go ahead now. Play. But don't go far, little matey. Yeah! <laughs> Where'd you go? 
Yeah, you got me again. A seashell? You want to play fetch, do you? Mighty fast little dolphin. <laughs> Try again. <coughs> what is it, little matey? <coughs> Careful, matey. Those lobster claws can really pinch. Yeah. Go snap somewhere else. Okay. Here you go, little dolphin. All right, all right. Let's race to the other side of the rocks, eh? Ready, set, go! Ha! Ah, dolphins! Excuse me, do you recognise this sound? <laughs> nope, it uh, doesn't sound familiar, but earlier today we saw some other dolphins back that way. Maybe they'll know the sound. Thanks. I hope we can find them, Captain. <laughs> Never heard that whistle before, I'm afraid. Oh. But I did see a dolphin looking for her baby a few minutes ago. She was on the other side of that reef. Oh, thanks. Dashy to Captain Barnacles. Captain, we have a lead on the mother dolphin. She's on the other side of the reef. Good work, Octonauts. Let's go. And a dolphin! Now try this! Hey, where'd he go? Oh no, where is he? Little matey, come back to Quasi! Where are you? Look, over there! Um. Excuse me, is this the sound of your baby? <laughs> yes, it is. I've been looking everywhere for him. Do you know where he is? We'll take you to him. Follow our slipstream. Oh, thank goodness. Barnacles to Quasi. We found the baby dolphin's mother and we're on our way back to the octopod. Uh, great. Me and the baby will be right here waiting for you when you get back. Barnacles out. Oh, this is terrible. I can't find him anywhere. Mmm, <laughs> lunch is served. Yeah! Ah! <laughs> oh, no, lunch is cancelled. He's gone, and you're safe. You can't just go off on your own like that. Stay close to me, matey. Huh? <laughs> it's your mother. Oh, my baby. I'm so happy to see you. Thank you for keeping my baby safe. Just doing my job as an octonaut. And a babysitter. Come on, it's time for us to go. Go on with your mum now. For me? Thanks, little matey. Goodbye, and thank you. Good work, Octonauts, and especially you, Quasi. Thanks, Captain. This belongs with me other treasures. I'll remember you always, little matey. <sighs> These night missions are tough, Captain. We've been working so late, it's just about morning. At least all's well in the ocean. <sighs> It'll be great to get back to the octopod and get some sleep. Aye. What's wrong? Hmm? Nothing. 
If nothing's wrong, why do you keep growling like that? Huh? Oh, <laughs> that's not me. It's my belly. I guess I'm hungry. Hmm. Come to think of it, my belly's feeling a bit empty too. How about you, Peso? Are you hungry? <coughs> There's a monkey. Where? <laughs> no monkey, Peso. We're all just tired and hungry. I see a nice sea grass meadow coming up. What do you say we stop there and have some breakfast? Ah! Yes, please. I'm so glad Tunip packed all this food for us. Me too. I'm starving now. Oh, kelp cakes, me favourite. Yeah, licorice flavoured, me least favourite. I can never get these thingies to work. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. Strawberry jam flavoured kelp. Now that's more like it. I'll be having some of that too, please, Peso. <gasps> Look over there. Seahorses. What in the seven seas? Look at those two. They're dancing like some crazy underwater merry-go-round. I've never seen anything like it. Let's investigate. <clears throat> um, excuse me, seahorses. We couldn't help but notice your amazing dance. Oh, thanks, man. It's a seahorse thing. We do a special dance of love. And change colors to show how much we like each other. Yeah, I'm Sonny, and this is Janice. We are the Octonauts. I'm Captain Barnacles, and this is Quasi and Peso. Good to meet you, Sonny and Janice. Isn't she wonderful? One look and I knew she was the one for me. Oh, Sonny, you're so sweet. They certainly look happy together. Captain, they, um, seem kind of busy with their dance and everything. Hmm. Let's, uh, head back to the octopod. Bye, Janice and Sonny. So long, man. Be happy. How much further, Captain? Not too far. The water is getting a bit rough, though. Octopod to Gap A, come in, please. We read you, Dashy. Is everything okay? There's a big storm heading this way, Captain. Suggest you return to the octopod as soon as possible. Thanks, Dashy. We're on our way back right now. Barnacle's out. A fast. Look at the fishies, mates. They're all heading for cover. Whenever a storm approaches, fish know to head for deeper water. It's much safer down below. We'll do the same. Sweet octopod. This storm could last a while. It's a big one, Captain. Mm. Huh? Huh? Oh. Look, it's Janice. She's in trouble. Hey, so sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, our seahorse friend Janice is lost in the storm. We're going out to save her. Guppies all powered up and ready to go, Cap. Peso, Quasi, into the guppe. Yow! Tweak, open the octahatch. Right away, Cap. Hold on, Octonauts. This could get bumpy. Lappity flippers, you're enjoying this, aren't you, Quasi? Aye! There'd be nothing like an ocean storm to make a pirate feel alive! <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled for Janice. Don't see her anywhere. There she be! Holding on by her tail! <laughs> Get as close to her as I can. And then Quasi, you. Quasi? Yeah! 
I'm coming, me hearty! Gotcha! I'll get the water tank ready for Janice, Captain. Good thinking, Peso. Thanks for saving me. How'd you get dragged out into this storm, matey? The water just swept me away. Seahorses aren't very good swimmers. We pretty much go where the water takes us. You can come back to the octopod and rest until the storm is over. But we need to find Sonny. The water pulled him away too, and I'm really worried. He's about to have our babies. In that case, we'd best find him before he... What did you say? Sonny is about to give birth to our babies. I only hope he's okay. But daddies don't have babies. Mums do. I mean, I mean, don't they? Not when you're a seahorse. Daddy seahorses carry babies in a special pouch until they're ready to be born. Well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. Janice, on my honour as an octonaut, we'll find Sonny and make sure he's safe and sound. Barnacles to Shellington and Dashy. Here, Captain. Go ahead, Captain. We need to find out which way the storm is headed and fast, because a seahorse has been swept along with it. Ah, uh, sir. Leave it to us. Got it! Captain, the storm is moving over the reef and then past some big rock formations. We'll send you a map of it right now. Good work, Octonauts. We'll search the reef first. Do you see him? Ah, not yet. We'll check the rocks next. Worry, we won't give up. We still need to search that kelp forest up ahead. We don't want to get the guppe stuck in this kelp, so we'll get out and search for Sonny. Sonny! Are you here, matey? Sonny! Sonny! Hmm, at least the storm is finally calming down. But where's Sonny? I guess we'll never find him. Look! A seahorse! Excuse me, are you Janice? Who, me? No, I'm Quasi, and, and I'm not a seahorse, I'm a... I'm Janice. Janice! Thank goodness you found us. Sunny is about to give birth. You're just in time. Oh, where is he? Please take us to him now. I'm a medic. I can help. Over there, near that seaweed. Sunny. Congratulations, Janice. It's a boy. And a girl. Oh, my. And another girl. And a boy. And a boy. And another girl. And a boy. And another girl. Hey, Janice. Sunny, I'm so glad I found you. Janice, you're safe. Meet the children. Our children are so beautiful. How can we ever, ever thank you? Oh, it was nothing. <laughs> All in the line of duty. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're so adorable. <laughs> what are their names again? Well, that little guy is Barney, short for Barnacles. And that really handsome Dipper is Quasi. And that one's Peso. And that there's his sister, Quasetta. Oh, she's a firecracker. Just look at that, Octonauts. Beautiful, isn't it? Aye. Looks like our kind of place, Captain. And best of all, this whole area is still unexplored. It's just out there waiting for us. Well, Quasi's going to be the first to explore the unexplored tonight. <sighs> it's a bit late to start exploring now, Quasi. We can wait till morning. Morning? 
A pirate never waits till morning. Not when there's an adventure to be had at night. You're not just a little bit scared of what might be out there? Scared? This pirate isn't afraid of anything. Not even sharks. Ha! I laugh at them. How about poisonous jellyfish? Not scary to me. What about vampire squids? Vampire squids? Ah, let me at them. Snakes? Nope. Bats? No. Scorpions? Yeah! No match for Quasi. Uh, how about spiders? Sp uh, spiders? <laughs> Luckily, there are no spiders in the ocean, matey. Um, there aren't, are they, Captain? Don't worry. Spiders only live on land. Good. Well then, as I was saying, this pirate is afraid of nothing. All right, but be careful out there. Yo-ho, yo-ho! It's out to sea I go! Hmm. <sighs> Vampire squids and sharks. <laughs> I'm not scared of... That's strange. Wait, who's there? <gasps> and what's this? If it's a sea plant, it's a funny looking one. <clears throat> Here's another one. Huh? Wait a minute. These aren't plants. They're more like legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight legs. Just like a. Spider! You're not gonna believe what I saw back there. It was creepy. It was crawly. It was. It was this big. No, it was bigger than that. It was huge. What was it? A vast. It was a giant spider, and it made a strange noise like this. Thunk, thunk, thunk. But, 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 Captain, I thought you said there were no spiders under the sea. Captain, you've got to see this. There's something big out there, and it looks like it has eight legs. Let's sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts. Quasi has discovered a mysterious creature in these unexplored waters. Now it's up to us to find out what it is. I'll get the gut bait ready, Cap. And I'll stay here at the octopod to fix something with my tools. Quasi, those were my tools. Quasi, we need you to come along. You're the only one who knows what this creature looks like. What does it look like? The biggest spider I've ever laid me eyes on. A spider? In the ocean? I know, it doesn't seem likely. But whatever Quasi saw out there, we're going to find it. Peso, Shellington, into the guppe. Quasi, are you with us? Hi, Captain. I'm with you. Good. Tweak, open the octo-hatch. Right away, Captain. See anything, crew? Nope, not yet. It is pretty dark out there. You know, you're right, Captain. Why don't we just head back to the octopod and then... Whoa! Something's upset them. <gasps> what was that? That's it. That's the thunk I thunk I heard when I saw the spider run. I think. Activate microphone, Peso. Let's listen and see if we can figure out where that sound is coming from. Captain, it's coming from over there. We're getting closer. Closer. Whatever it is, Captain, it should be right here. Yeah! Yeah! It's the spider! Hello out there. We mean you no harm. We are the Octonauts. And one of us doesn't like spiders. Who are you? And why are you grabbing our guff? Oh, 
I'm sorry. I wanted to say hello. I am a spider. I knew it. I knew it was a spider. Amanda Kibbins with your lives. Crab. Huh? Excuse me. You're a what? A spider crab. A giant spider crab, to be exact. Of course. A giant spider crab. I should have known. So you're not a scary spider? Eh? Oh, no. I just look like one. I'm really a crab. <sighs> the largest crab in the entire ocean with many, many legs. Fascinating. Yes, I have eight legs and two pincer arms. Pincer arms? They help me to move around and grab things to eat. Ouch! <laughs> What's wrong, Mr. Giant Spider Crab? Oh, there's something stuck to one of my legs. Oh, no! Ouch. It's a giant clam. Oh, it's very heavy. And noisy. So that's what that scary thunk, thunk, thunk noise was. It looks painful. We're coming out right now to help you. Right, Quasi? Right, Captain. This clam is shut tight. I've seen this before. When clams get stepped on, they close up to protect themselves. It's nearly impossible to pry them open. Huh. This could take a while. Um, why do these things always happen when I'm in a hurry? What's the rush? I'm trying to get to a birthday party. Whose birthday is it? Mine! My children and grandchildren are having a great big party for me. I'm a hundred years old today. A hundred years old? Shiver me whiskers. Oh, yes. We spider crabs can live for years and years, long enough to meet many of our grandchildren. I just hope I get to see mine today. On our honour as octonauts, we'll get you unstuck, matey. <laughs> Captain, according to my medical manual, giant clams open and close using this muscle. Aye, try tickling it. Good idea. Goochie, goochie, goo. <laughs> That's it. Peso, you'll tickle the clam. Quasi and Shellington, you try to pull the clam open. I'll lift the crab's leg out. Tickle, pull, and lift. Octonauts, let's do this. Excellent. Yes. Aye, aye. Tickle. A goochie, 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 goo. Pull. <laughs> and lift. <laughs> yes, it's working. Let's really get him laughing now. Tickle. <laughs> Pull. <laughs> lift. <laughs> ah, at last, I'm free. <laughs> Yay! Yay! We did it. Good work, Octonauts. Oh, how can I ever thank you? Say, would you like to come to my birthday party? The Octonauts never say no to a birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> Shiver me whiskers. I've never seen so many kiddies and grandkiddies. Grandpa, you made it! Ah, yes. Thanks to my new Octonaut friends. I got here just in time. Happy birthday, Grandpa! Oh. <laughs> hey, what, what you doing? <laughs> now I know how that giant clam must have felt. <laughs> Guess Quasi's no longer scared of spiders. Spider crabs, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Barnacles. I'm waiting. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go.